eBuzzing and Teeds um, in Europe is certainly a very well-known company. We've been uh, we've been around since about 2008, um, and you know we've had such great success in in Europe and and actually internationally as well. Um, and the US for us is a really exciting frontier. We we actually launched the the office back in the summer of 2013, um, and you know really we're starting to see the growth. The US for us is is a huge opportunity. And if you look at Europe as a whole, the the UK market, which is um, which is one of our biggest markets certainly in, in Europe you know is about four times larger than the next biggest market in Europe which is which is France you come to the US and it's four times larger than even the UK. So for us, um, we've had some great success. We've worked with some fantastic publishers. We've got some fantastic clients that we've, we've, uh, we've worked with in the past. And we're bringing all of that, all that experience and that expertise to the US market. Um, and you know, within the space of you know, really just under a year, we've, had, we've ran some fantastic campaigns. And it's, it's, you know, it's extremely exciting for us. Um, the merger with, with Teeds happened in March. And again, that brought a different sort of part of the, the puzzle for us into the business. So we operate across the video ecosystem now. And we really are, to, to not sort of be cliche, but we, you know, we really are a one-stop shop for, for video. Um, and with the, the market growing um, so quickly, you know, we, we needed to sort of make sure that we're agile enough uh, in order to, to answer all of our clients' needs. One of the things that we pride ourselves at eBuzzing and Tees is that we are very innovative. Um, you know, in the video space, we're actually, you know, we're fairly old. You know, we're, we're, we're older statesmen, I guess, in, in some ways. You know, we've been around for eight years. And so as the industry has evolved and changed, and it does, you know, almost sometimes on a monthly basis. You know, we've always been one step ahead of the curve. So for us, we sort of feel, you know, we're, we're very much behind and we feel like we've really come up with the idea of outstream video advertising, which is placing video outside of the traditional video stream. Um, so sort of outside of pre-roll. And we really have been championing that for, uh, for a long time. And so when we talk about reinventing video advertising, it's because we're always thinking that one step ahead. You know, we're doing, we're trying to do things that are different, that really connect in a different way brands to consumers. Um, and you know, and we've been through a whole evolution as a company ourselves, and we're at the point now where you know we have these fantastic experience with with brands and with publishers, um, and we, you know we're moving forward with the idea of, of this outstream, which you know for us we're we're really championing, um, and it's going down. It's it's really successful. It's going down so well with uh, with our clients. There's new terminology in in the digital industry, you know all the time but for us you know outstream really kind of it does what it says on the tin so you know there is a challenge we have to make sure that people understand what that means um, and make it as simple to understand because there is so much as we were saying you know new terminology uh, in digital um, so the challenge is getting out there and explaining what it means but then once you uh, once you explain what it means and once the the marketplace is educated um, it makes sense right you know people understand the need um, for what we're doing you know we've heard today about uh, pre-roll we've heard today all about the the challenges in the industry around this limited inventory and the great thing about Outstream is the fact that we are able to actually create all of this new inventory, premium inventory for, for our clients. So, um, you know, it's, it's about us going and educating the market and in terms of the analytical piece, in terms of the, um, the measurement side of things. I mean, again, as we've heard today, it's, it is a constantly evolving beast in a way. Um, you know, we do a lot of work around viewability and there's a lot of things with 3MS talking and the IB talking about kind of what is viewable. So we're very much at the forefront of those conversations and those discussions. But again, it will be something that I think continually evolves as the video industry grows and grows.